Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Warped in Space by Quinton Reynolds and Card Shark. Before we do that, the usual, please like, please subscribe and check out the Instagram account at Real Magic Review. My own, you can also follow if you want the personal development stuff and all that other stuff and pictures of the kids every now and then, which is at Steve Faulkner. Uh, but I'll put the magic stuff on there, but if you just want the magic, at Real Magic Review. And please check out carmagiccourse.com. This is why I'm in this weird position. I'm not sitting down there because I'm going to be filming this uh, course on the Royal Road to Carb Magic, which is why I've got a lovely poster printed up and everything. Isn't that good? Uh, so do check that out. I'm really enjoying getting into this, but really enjoying it, man. It's great. So, uh, Warped in Space. I did a separate video on the performance of this. Performance. Right. This is a, an addition to Card Warp that Quinton does, and he does it with a lot of respect. This isn't instead of Card Warp, it isn't an improvement on Card Warp. You know, we've, we've recently lost Roy Walton, and I don't need to say what a sad loss that is to the magic community. I've talked about his books before. I mean, just incredible thinker. You open one of them, but, and they're just so dense. There's so much. And the fact that he wrote three books, I highly recommend it. You know, some of the stuff's really commercial. Some of them is more sort of thinky and geeky. And, but it, you'll just learn so much about car magic by getting them. If you can get them, get them. They're just great. Um, and he, he, a, a great loss. And it's so kind of him to allow me to, to teach his tricks on my course as well, which, you know, he, he sent me a lovely message. And I'm so, I'm so upset I didn't get up to uh, Tam Shepherd's Magic Shop to meet him. But there you go. So it's been nice to take this out and perform it. I remember seeing Card Warp. But I think it was at that time in Australia when I learned, I first saw my f card tricks for the first time. You know, proper card tricks, not that I'm going to deal out 25 piles of whatever uh and just and, and i remember that feeling i got from watching it because it just felt so different i've been trying to remember what it was and it felt different it felt it looked beautiful i really thought it looked beautiful right i, I kind of couldn't get the image out of my head um and i didn't know how it was done for a while so and that's why i couldn't stop thinking about it it was really unique and learning this again relearning it i've kind of always played with it but I haven't actually taken out and performed it I don't think it's been really lovely and it's felt nice as well because of because obviously because of Roy um it's felt like a nice thing to do and and what I will say it's one of those tricks card warp that it's kind of easy to get wrong it I don't know what it's 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 easy physically easy you know it doesn't take loads of skill but if you mishandle it a little bit it looks clunky and it did in my in my the performance of it you know I'll be totally honest it was clunky because I was kind of nervous you know if you open it the wrong way or if you put it in and it doesn't look it looks a bit you know if you don't do it in a relaxed way it can look too contrived and so it, it there, there is practice required on the card warp don't think it's easy you know once you know it's done you can take it out and I did spend quite a lot of time on it and I still need to work on it and I think that the the warped in space bit is actually easier than card warp the, the Clinton's uh, Quinton's bit w once you've learned it is is a lot easier but what it does is it gives you more to think about. So I'm going to do good points to this. Good points is it, it expands the routine. It feels like an expansion of the routine. And it kind of does feel like two different routines. And that's not a bad thing. The card warp, finishes it. you can finish card warp with the, the tear and all that kind of thing. But in this one, you've got like a natural progression to something else. And it kind of gets rid of the, the dirty work in a way that then they've got something else to think about. So if you just put it away, they go, hang on a minute, but you put it away and then you do something else and they've got their mind on this other thing. And I found in performing it, there was no question. Nobody wanted to see anything from the earlier trick. Um, they just then got into this other thing. So that was a really nice finish. And it finishes super clean because they're finished holding this thing that they're going, wow, and talking about. And you see the reaction was lovely on the, on the, um, on the video. They really do love that thing at the end. They cannot get their head around it. So it, it's a really nice routine. It gives you more, and, and stage time or performance time is always great in there. It feels very unique. It, that, the whole, the, it's all built around this folding. I thought, incidentally, that it would go really well. If you did um, the, the Roddy McGee trick, Stargate, and you had the two cards in there, you've got this whole routine based on sort of wormholes and this weirdness, which I, I think is a really nice idea. Um, again, expanding it more. They're different routines. You're not improving it, but you're expanding it. It feels unique, it feels different. 
I love the bit where you close their eyes. You don't have to. And then they open them and the card's facing them. It's great. It, it, I, well, I found that you've got to, you've got to make sure they you really tell them, look, what side the card's facing you. Because if you, you, it could be one of those routines that's in danger of feeling too complicated for them to get their head around. Um, but it's a great trick. It's not difficult, which is another bonus. But it, I did find it difficult to remember all the bits. But that's because I kind of rushed this. You know, I do learn it quickly. You know, even though I've had it for a long time, I haven't looked at it for a long time, and you know, get out as quick as I can and perform it as quick as I can. So I will say just spend some time with it. The downsides of this, there aren't really any. It does what it says. I think, as I said, that you're in danger if, if you rush through it of it be, being a bit confusing. You've really got to take your time with it. And Quinton actually says that on the download. He says, make sure you don't rush through it. You're going to want to because you're thinking, oh, what's the next bit? But actually, once you've done it a couple of times, I found on the third performance of it, I kind of had it and I thought, it is okay. I will say there's a switch in it. And the switch that Quinton does on the download, I don't do. I, I think I can, I'm, I'm going to say I do a, I do a shuttle pass. It's like nobody's watching this. Nobody's just, I do a shuttle pass at, at a certain point where there's no heat and I've, it's, it's lovely and slow. I'm not rushing it and it's great. I do the billing kiwi in the same way um, and it, it just flies. He does a really convincing con, um, thing, which I won't go into, but I just felt there was too much heat on there for me that does just for me i just i'm sure if i practiced it it would be fine but so you can you can adapt this for yourself you know if you don't if you find the, the bit difficult because he's obviously well practiced he's done it for a very long time you can you can do it in a different way what i will say is whenever you've got to do that sort of stuff there is no heat because you've kind of finished one routine that's another thing you finish cardboard they're still going wow and then you're you're sort of talking to them about something else so it's 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 quite bold it's going to feel nerve-wracking for some people, as it kind of did with me. But once you've done it a couple of times, you realise it's absolutely fine. I really like it. It feels utterly different. I love the fact you get the little um, giveaway things. So, so what I do is I package them all up in the little slip case. I have the two cards and the one I'm going to... In, and I get it already, I get the slip case, I get them all out of the case, I put the case at the end, they've got the souvenir, they've got this impossible thing with their signature on it that they can hold and remember you by, which is great. Um, and it's, it's lovely. There is a downside, obviously, with that, that you have to buy the gimmicks. And, you know, it's great for business, but sometimes not for us, that we have to, so when we run out, we have to get more. Uh, so I suppose for some people, that's going to be something. But, if you, but again, it's like the fault bending, isn't it? If you do it and it's in your set and people are reacting to it, I'm totally happy to rebuy them every now. I think you get about 25 in there or something and you get the slip cases and, and you will have to supply your own a uh, picture card or whatever it is for the other part, the second card with card warp. And this might not be very professional, but I'm doing the warp, half the card, card warp card is a um, card chart card, a Phoenix deck, and half of them is just one of my red bikes. Nobody's noticed. Nobody notices it's a different card at all. Nobody's said anything. It's, it just flies. and it, So don't worry about that. If you've got a lot of old bikes and you get the Phoenix deck, you can still do it with the bikes. It, it doesn't matter. So thank you very much. Um, you, all the links will be down below. It is currently, at time of recording, only available at conventions, but check, check on the links. Blackpool's next week, so you're going to be able to get it there. Go and check out carmagiccourse.com. Like, subscribe, the Instagram Real Magic Review. Have a brilliant one, and I will see some of you at Blackpool, unless you're watching this after Blackpool, and I hope I saw you there, and if I didn't, never mind. Take care. Bye.